Don't forget, it was the NSF that C4'd the statue in the first place. Ask me? I think the government did it. They want people to think the NSF are terrorists. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two. In 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. The entire executive branch is hand-picked. 19 of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Did you ever ask what it's for? The surveillance? The police? The shoot-on-sight laws? Is that freedom? The more of us you kill, the more that secessionism lives in the hearts of the people. Ever wonder why big car companies pay 2% tax while the guys on the assembly line pay 40? Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. That's terror. Terror built into the system. Need I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of 6 million Americans who will be transported to detention centers? Your tabloids call it RX-84. Yeah, including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Remember that the UN itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. Everything's so compartmentalized. Kaczynski was right about the division of labor. I'm given that much. Who puts the pieces together? Someone who makes a lot more money than we do. The West, so afraid of strong government, now has no government. Only financial power. Our governments have limited power by design. Rhetoric? Do you believe it? Don't you know where these slogans come from? Well-paid researchers. How do you say it? Think tanks? funded by big businesses. What is that? A think tank? It's privately funded propaganda. The Trilateral Commission in the United States, for instance. Executive Order 109090. It lets us take over all modes of transportation. FEMA can do that? If the President declares an emergency, Executive Order 109095, we can take over the media. All of it? Any and all. Executive Order 109097, we can take command of natural resources. RX-84. What's that? One of the plans. You haven't heard of RX-84? Uh-huh. FEMA takes over the highways, police, airports, media, the armed forces. But they still report to the president, right? Not until the end of the emergency. That's for efficiency. Also, they have plans on the books to arrest 5 million Americans the day the emergency is declared. Terrorists? Immigrants, mostly. But also anyone the FBI has been watching. People know the government has a vaccine. Riots everywhere. The same corporation that makes Ambrosia also manufactures the virus. Quite convenient. They're infecting people on purpose, huh? Some people just don't understand the dangers of indiscriminate surveillance.